Hello everyone, I'm Me Phone 4 and I'm Son of Beast and this is NBA 2K23 on 2K Sports. What's up guys, Son of Beast here and we are back for another NBA 2K Sports. This time as we are heading down to the end of the season we have the next matchup coming your way in. It's the Toronto Raptors facing against the Indiana Pacers at Gamebridge Fieldhouse. So as you may notice that Toronto Raptors really have a hard strength to keep them over it. And they have already won the game against the Chicago Bulls. Now they're back into the spot. Keep on winning. There's something else to talk about that. The Raptors are a hard one to go and counter in between by the two. But it really has to turn out the tough players are really inbounding. As we've seen the Pacers play against the Raptors here in the playoffs in 2K17, it was very tough to clutter that every player is really have a hard time to make a abuse out of it. Taking it over in between by the two of Pascal and Paul George. But I'm not really sure if there is anything else to say about this one. So, we might have to find out who's going to take it over next. Without him and Old Depot, we got another player to go inbounding. And it might be tough to find out who it is as Miles Turner is back. Here are the starting lineups for the Toronto Raptors. We have this Fred Van Vliet, Oak Ananobi, Scotty Barnes, Pascal Siakam, and Jacob Porter. Now on the other hand, for the Indiana Pacers, we have this Tyrese Halliburton, Chris Darte, Buddy Heald, Aaron Nemeth, Nesmith, I should say, and Miles Turner. Let's send you down to Indianapolis as the Pacers begin their game along with Toronto Raptors for the starting of the group. I will have the next commentary up as will I have Paintbrush along here with the other team of the group as you may have another one to go in between by the two of a hand. And that will be me phone on the other side. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy your next game. Leisurely way it is about that time. Welcome back to another NBA 2K Sports. And brush here along with me phone. This is NBA on 2K Sports. Along with Alan LaForce, let's have a look on the sideline. Well, Fred Van Vliet, a first-time All-Star in 2021, said of his journey, quote, It's like a movie storyline, just scratching and clawing, all the work and the sacrifices. I'm always going to have this great perspective that allows me to navigate differently and helps me succeed. Brian? Thank you so much, Sir Riley. The tough matches are very, the, the hard succeed, and it's just very the toughness to get things over the line. I'm pretty sure there's going to be somebody else out there. The courtesy lineups are being as followed here as Halliburton and Van Vliet already keep it in the point guard. Siakam on Buddy Heel, and it's Turner here on the other side of the, of the court against against uh, Portal. Van Ananobi here on Darte. Van across it here. We've always know of uh, Nice Smith on Siakam. Now we talked about it here about Siakam before. Their only part of the game is just not very that comfortable to get this thing over or right around it. You can definitely tell by the team, they're very that tough to try to keep things right over our head. There might be tough ones, it could be hard, but it may not be if they have a lot of ability to take over. I don't know, be with a shuffle. Back to Barnes, big get over back to Van Vliet. Van Vliet step back for the two. Good shot range, that's over for the two. And he's got his first bucket. Now, talk about Fred Van Vliet. He was never able to play for this game since his team has already been eliminated last season. And it was turning out to be a painful one to give him enough to a worthy credit against the 76ers in the first round. It was the secondary rival team that they have ever faced here. A Canadian versus USA matchup in between. I just have to say this one, this was a very tough play to go with in between. If MB would have saw that one of Fred Van Lee and Siakam coming back in the playoffs, then they would know they would have to try to fix things up ahead. After 
a mobile one drive by Van Vliet. Here's a uh, chop screw to Dante with the sixth. Uh, look at the play for here. That Dante had a lot of play in bad. They may not be able to make a successful range, but it was very uh, tough to clear out. Very hard to keep things right in between. Not at uh, points, but it's always happened. After Friday against the loss against the LA Lakers, he only had eight points in this game. Was able to try to pick him up with the focus on the game, but not enough attention was too much to bring things over. Well, I'll have to tell you that. Fred Van Lee was able to try to pick up a move out there. They're not really a tough team to try to like keep an eye of the game. They really want to keep out just a lot of momentum. He's well to play out there without Kyle Lowry and Kawhi Leonard. Two free throws coming up here for the line for Fred Van Lee. With only four 11, team, 11 to go in the fourth period. Free throw went in. Nick Nurse is the head coach here for the Toronto Raptors. And as we did talk about it before, Toronto Raptors did play beat against the, the Indiana Pacers here in Game 7 here in the 2017 NBA playoffs here in this game. And as it turned out, the back to back switch was even closer than you think. But how did this turn out to be one of the team's successful range in the game for Toronto winning over Indiana? Well, I have to tell you this one because there was a lot of playing inbounds in this game. They're not really important. And to tell about that one here in the back in 2016, it was a tough range to try to go from high to sight. And I'm not really telling you that there was a lot of plays that they were going to have to try to keep them up on the other side of it. It might be tough ones to try to keep it over it. And there may not be another one to try to look out from here. I don't know, we back over to Barnes. And here's Ananobi. Grand Van Vliet outside, back to Ananobi. Here's a free for Barnes. First three-pointer can't hit the mark. Indiana trailing by four. Darte in the corner, covered by Van Vliet. Looks over to Nesmith. Nesmith, back to Darte. Five to shoot. They need to get some targets here. For the three, that goes in and out. Portal has his second rebound in the game with under three minutes to go. By Siaka. What a move by Siaka. And it's Portal with the assist. He has his first assist here in the game at first bucket for Siaka. Now that's a great setup screen because that communication off the was giving things a lot of work for the run just to try to pick him up. Turn around Portal. Oliver and back on Van Vliet. Gets it to the screen, a look, and a great rebound here by Porto on a solid defense. He's not able to slow down because after playing with the San Antonio Spurs, he was able to try to pick up a run and try to go with a different team. Not really comfortable in? Well, that's all he had to know. Kyle Burton just did not see what was going as Ananobi takes a free pointer. And it's Siaka with the assist. Excellent look out there. First time on call by Indiana with only 2.03 to go. 11-2 is your score in the first period. We're getting down to the wire here for the regular season, but there's only one more game that you will all have to stay tuned as you got the last game here up and ready for you to have a great time moment. It's the Nets and Timberwolves. That will be at the end of the month here in March. So keep your eyes peeled here for the last game. And in the next month, April, we'll have the NBA play-in tournaments. As you're about to be seeing the 7th versus the 8th seed. And across from here, 9th versus 10th seed. The winner of this one will be played in the, in the seventh seed to play in the playoffs. The losers will have to play for the battle for the eighth seed. A win to get it. Now, there are not for about the questions out there. There's a considerable answers. Toronto Raptors may be the only team that can try to play into the tournament. They have their chance out there. But if there is, is another choice here, and probably the Indiana Pacers are not looking well, the comfortable one. 
They're tied up already, but they have to find out who can take the next win. We'll have to see what they can do to try to keep it up. New group substitution made here for the Pacers and the Raptors. Three players check out. Baddies Young, Akua, and Trent Jr. are checked in. The Pacers are also making some changes here as five players are checked out, five players are checked in. We're set over Achua. No good from here. Very uncomfortable look out there. I need to fix some more to do it over it. Achua passed over to Trent Jr. With the move, back to Achua. Over again. Rebound, no good here. As Fanny Young didn't have the right timing out there. Nam Howard on Trent Jr. Decides to look over it now. New Orleans up for two. He missed out that one in opportunity range. And Barnes has the re first rebound of the game. Barnes passes to Trent Jr. Trent Jr. trying to make a move. He moves back over to Barnes. Two pointer. That is good from the strain. And Barnes has his first bucket of the game. We're down under a minute of the play here. 13 to 2 is your score. Marfer in over to McConnell. McConnell back to Brisson. Brisson on a draw. Looking for an open pass. Just six to shoot. Over again. And it's missed again. The one thing in mind to keep that one in mind in the game is to how hard that Achua might be playing. Well, he might be a, a tough score to keep an eye on the on the bride, but if there's any other changes, that might be the only thing that they can try to keep him over. The foul is called on Nembhard. That will be his first personal, their second team foul. And Trent Jr. at the line for two. One thing I have to go with that one, Trent Jr. I wasn't able to play with the Toronto Raptors since the last couple seasons were already been involved. But as you may know, there is one thing to talk about that one. It's not about giving up. It's about staying focused. You have to keep the right strain in motion. Trent Jr. makes the first free throw. Second free throw for good for Trent Jr. That's his first bucket here in the game. We're down under 30 seconds to go. Here's McConnell. Finds that bar. Right to Martin Hood. Marvin covered up by Barnes. 10 seconds remaining in the, in the game clock. Five seconds to shoot. Marvin out of angle. Oh, what a play! Barnes will have closed the first quarter. It is a 15-2. What a smoke out run here for Frank Van Lee and the teams. We'll take a quick for a short break and we'll get back to the game after this. With the couple of the game, it is a 15-2 game. A great lookout for the Raptors to give a good start out there. And we've seen them last season. They have already made a win against the Chicago Bulls. How does it really turn out to be one of the best this team, Nepo? Well, I have to say that Toronto Raptors are definitely one of the best this year in the Canadian team. They definitely won the finals here in 2019 against the Golden State Warriors in Game 6. And definitely you have to talk about that one here. Your player like Kawhi Leonard and also the other one like Kyle Lowry does. He really is definitely on the strongest team to make that one more history. He's out of bounds. That turns over to Pacer Ball. No shot, no game here. That's a mistake. Might have to keep your eyes on that one if you're going to step onto the three-pointer. We don't want to get caught up out of the line. Halliburton on Van Vliet. Van Vliet finds over to Martin Hood. Screen coming. With a double look, back to Halliburton. Six on a shot clock. Three for Turner. 
Rebounded by Nesmith. Police foul. That calls on Siaka. His first personal first team foul. Aaron Nesmith was able to catch the rebound, but he was lifted. Bang! Right now here on the floor. That was a very tough one to look out the range. Siaka can't find it. A, a defensive recovery. That goes off. And that will be a causing foul that will give up here for the teams. You don't want to take a chance to do this one. Makes a first free throw for Nesmith. Now a new changeup coming in as George Gill is checked in for a buffer end. Makes a second free throw. Van Vliet with the ball. Goes to Siaka. Siaka back over to Van Vliet. Almost lost the ball, but has Anilobi. Moving ball back and forth. Trent Jr. Free for Van Vliet. Good outside the range. Trent Jr. with the assist. And it's Van Vliet, nine points the game. They're just going all over right now. Fans are going crazy. Just look how front Van Vliet's playing. Field on Trent Jr. He finds Hill for three. No three-pointer connection here outside of rim. Gives it back to the ball ball. Back to Kurt Trent Jr. He feeds it to Analobi. Raptors are keeping an eyes on the man open their offense to keep it rolling. Back to Trent Jr. with a two. Hits off the rim and it's Turner with the rebound. Rebounding number two for Turner. That will be another look. Siakam fights it back. And I of the force has definitely did talk to, to Nick Nurse and her and her teams. They have a lot of focus to keep an eye on that one. We're not struggling here. We're trying to fight back. There's no over quitting here if you want to try to keep up the run. So you've got to play what you are going for. That's the clue. Just do it the right way. Let it go over it. And they will have to try to like keep an eye on that one here. If Nick Nurse has to go with another uh, key to make the offense to go right from here. You don't want to like try to like get over it. You just want to like stay focused at the same time. Family on Hello Hurricane. 320 left to go for the free throw. Rim in and out. And Trent Jr. with the rebound. Pacers are having a difficulty time for shooting the right moments. And the teams are just can't find anybody. Double man, free for Anobi. Good outside of range. And Tiago with the assist. I don't know if he's got six points, and their extension is up to a uh, good layoff. Hill on Anobi. Finds Hay. Back to Holder and back to Peel. Trent Jr. Hill outside. Just six to shoot. Gotta make a shot. Double man defenders on him as Polico with the rebound. Finds on Anobi. Gives it over to Coloco. Coloco back over to Van Vliet. Trying to make a new switch up here for offense. He gives it off to Trent Jr. Tiak Coloco with the two. Off the rim. Great D on Turner. That's number three. Here with the ball. With the chair. Dunk, he just want to show it what he's got here to finish off in the first half. Time on the ball by Toronto. We're going 2 0 5 for me in the first half. The score was still pretty much a whole look in the pacing lineup. That is 21 to 6. There might be somebody else that can try to go with that look of a range. Well, I like to tell you this one there's not a lot of time if you want to think about it. If you want to keep it right into the, the focus on the scores, you got to pay attention. There's lots of more keys that they're going to need to try to keep them over with a better look at the offense and try to keep up the momentum at the same time. Don't let the other players try to pressure you. Or else they will try to take it away from you. The NBA on 2K Sports is brought to you by your local Kia dealers. 
official vehicle of the NBA. State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call up quick to get a free quote today. And by AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable, and secure. New changeups here for the Toronto Raptors and for the Pacers as Quo is checked back in for Koka. Siakam comes off the court here as Achua with the, with the takeover and Barnes with the reboot. Five players are checked out and five players are checked in. Use Portal, covered here, back to Barnes. Six on the shot clock, Van Vliet, step back two. Oh wow, he's looking good out there. Van Vliet's got 11 points, and with another great, fantastic look right there, they're killing it so bad. Meccano missing up at the layup. Achua right over the portal. With under 90 seconds, here's Barnes. Gives it to Van Vliet. With a two, very tricky look, and he stepped out of bounds. That turns it over the second time in that turnover. That possession is not really that the same thing that Porter was able to make. He was watching it closely, and Van Van Lee would have had that shot. But with that one, unfortunately, his right foot was stepped out of bounds. I had to look at that key again. It was not enough to get over it right in the way. Too hard to handle, can't let it get over. Family back over here again to Ananobi. They are making new changes to Achua. Trying to make another move. Six to two go. Achua needs something. Free for Family. Take it back to Porto. Now back to Ananobi. 30 seconds left to play in the first half. Back to Barnes. Barnes pulls back to Achua. Two-pointer up. Good! Outside for the baseline. And it's on a note, and it's Barnes with the assist. That's a good key step. May not need anything to help with that one. McConnell on Van Vliet. Ten seconds remaining. To Nora. Nora around Achua. A solid performance. And Porto will close the first half. That ends it. A 25 to 6 run. We'll be right back after this break. Halftime is up next. 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey all, you just made it here to the halftime show. As we got all lots of highlights to show you for the Raptors and Pacers. Raptors are a strong move out. As you talk about Fred Van Vliet, he is in perfect setup of this one in the first half. He's off killer here for tonight. And as for Ananobi and other guys, they have some good eyes and they have pride. Keeping it right over to the other side of it, they are just going bang. And with that one, with Pacers, they're just trying to go back with the run. They're starting to lose their pressure out there. They may not be able to find another one to get back into this. So they'll have to find out if they can try to sell it down to get back in the game. That's the key to get it right. And that's going to do here for the halftime show. Time to send you back to Game Bridge Fieldhouse for the second half. See you later in the post game. And if you're just tuning in for the NBA 2K Sports, we welcome you back here in Indiana as we get started for the third quarter. Like to say about him, Frank Van Vliet was able to be a successful person in the point guard. And without the player that we're talking for Danny Green and Emmy players, there is a tough one to go right from here. While you're saying, Frank Van Vliet was an excellent player on the Toronto Raptors. They might be keeping him just for long and possible. And if there is another player to go with a trade in, he might be unsure what he will ever go with to keep the team up from here. The second half says starting right now, all filled up and ready to go. 
Bird Man Millie covered up by Halliburton. And across from here, we have a Siaka here on Darte. That's the Smith. Darte on again to Aronobi. Porno here on, on Miles Turner. And finally, finally, of course, uh, Scotty Barnes and and what do you call that guy? I forget the name of it. Um, I think there was, yeah, I think there was a, a double zero. So, I'm sure. Well, you get that one in there. First free throw is good for Pascal Siaka. And to talk about him for his most best careers this moment, was given a better place here for the 2018-19 run. It was not very a tough one to try to go right from his side of the screen. Well, to say about him that Pascal Siakam was able to try to keep him to score from out of the sight. He always knows that his team can try to keep him right from the head. He has a lot of things to say about him. He goes, their plays are very the tough one to try to go from here. They're very good teammates. They always can do as much things that they want to do. And when I do the team they do, they definitely will have all eyes on targets. That's a success to bring from the head coach to the player of myself. Double man, Rambly for three. The other man, no good. And no tip back rebound for Siaka. Hello, in. Fans are going quiet here in Indiana. Alleroy in. Nesbitt going for three. And there is a foul on the loose ball. Halliburton with the second foul as it puts the pressure here on Ananobi. Now Ananobi is checked out and Trent Jr. is checked back in. Van Vliet with the ball. Toronto extending the lead. Siaka back with it now. Van Vliet out for three. Wow, he was like a perfect run. He says, I'm ready. I'll take another three-pointer to cash in. <laughs> you say that that Fred Van Lee really wants to keep shooting it all night long. <laughs> Don't get in front of me. I've always got eyes on it. Heel for the three. And he got it. That's a two-pointer on a three-point line. They're down by 20. Van Vliet finds Siaka. Siaka moving in, and he still has it right in a target. That's another bucket for Siaka, and their extension is up by 22. Alder can find Nesbitt, and he's fouled. That's Siaka with the second personal, and its first team foul comes up for Toronto. And the Smith. That's a great pass, goes up to Darth to Halliburton. They're just going to need to find somebody else to go right from here. Targets are just not able to clean up their sight. As you may have just heard of it, the Nesmith might be able to come back in. He hits the first free throw. Just tough one to give that over. If there is another play to give him a target run, they have it all. Siaka moves over to center as Porto is checked out. Boucher comes in onto the court for a point forward. And he hits his second free throw. Here's Van Vliet, only scored 14 points in the first and second half of the game. He looks over to Siaka. Trying to put the pressure on it. Now he will try to reset it back over to Trent Jr. Decides to go for it. Has to make the shot. Trent Jr. Fade away, no good here. For a three point line. With the rebound. Back to Halliburton. 
Trent Jr. trying to avoid the screen. Five left. Tough play. Great play for Siaka. He's got four rebounds here with only three minutes to go. That hustle driving is not the only succeed that you just want to get over it. You just can't find a right way to give it off to a look. Boucher scoops in reverse. Boucher's got his first bucket. What a play. That's a tough one because that's what was very the tough to drive out, but he was going to like to take a look at it. And he didn't really want to focus on the target, so he just did it by himself. An excellent mobile one drive for Toronto. The second timeout has been called by Indiana with only 2.39 to go. There's something else to talk about this, about the, the uh, race towards the playoffs. A couple teams are doing it better, and they are just coming back in there to try to do it again. The top three teams between the Milwaukee Bucks, the Boston Celtics, and Philadelphia 76ers. Well, there's a tough ones here in the Eastern Conference on the side. There may not be enough to get things right back on the board, but they might have another way to go for a chance to try to get it back on the target. I might be finding another way to go right from here. If, a, if there's a great opportunity by me giving up a look, I might have another way to try to step back in the game. And for the Western Conference, the top three teams in the, in the race tour that the legendary could be going in between. Denver Nuggets in first place. Second place is Memphis Grizzlies. And third place, Sacramento Kings. They are coming back here since the long last slept regular season was turning out to be staying away from the teams in the franchise history. But now, they are back in again. I'm sure they do. You want to see what they can do if they can try to keep him over. Four players checked out. Four players are checked in as Nora, Markerin, Nemard, and McConnell checked in. Whoa! Turner! With a one-hand jam! I don't see what that, what's going on out there. He just really like to see what he can do. Tiaka looking it over. Gives it to Van Vliet. Van Vliet with a drive. Scooped up and over. Van Vliet's got 16. And Siaka with the assist. Down to two minutes to play in the third quarter. 36-14 is where the score left off. Right between. Screen avoided. Marvarin up with the shot. It's rebounded here again by Boucher. And here's Trent up again. Scores. Jack's Trent Jr. with the second bucket. And Siakam does it again. The one thing I have to talk about that one here, Trent Jr. may have never able to play with the team and they're just gonna like try to like keep it going. I have no other convictions of what's gonna happen next, but hopefully there might be another way to go right around it. Van Vliet outside. Gets it over to Siakam. Just six to shoot. Fades, Siakam with two. In and out, Boucher, oh, he bumped out. Are you kidding me? He was bumping somebody over and he just did not give a foul call. I don't know what the coaches were if they're making a challenging call. They should have had that one out there. Now, I don't know what's the choice out there, but it doesn't really turn out that he was going to try to bump somebody over. Barnes back over to Brian Van Bleet. Van Bleet back over to Siaka. Siaka trying to move it over. Free Van Bleet. Out of the range market. Here's McConnell. Back to Nembrar. 15 seconds to go. Time sticking down. McConnell on Van Bleet. To Nora. Spin over Boucher. In and out. Fed Van Bleet going for deep. And they will not get the bucket here. That ends the third quarter. A Toronto extension. Could be a 
entering in the play-in tournament back in again. Hopefully they might be trying to figure that one out. Let's see how they do. We'll be getting to the fourth quarter when we come back. And a moment now to release your State Farm assist of the game. Here's something else to say about this. That's because the players are just looking for a good target box. And to Rambly, that does happen the way one way around here in the first half of the game. I'm just saying there might be someone else out there that could try to stop him down. <laughs> We come down to the final quarter as this bout to get a settled and ready to turn to make the win for it. I hope that your, your fans are just saying that Indiana is having a bad luck in the season. It is too hard to go right from here and it was very tough to try to answer with that calls and stay. So it just didn't really have enough to go right from here. So very tough ones to go right from here. As of right now, Jordan Nuora has made a shot, and a foul has been called on Flint. He's at the free throw line shooting one. Trying to get back in there, but they're just way far off the mark. Just can't find a look open. And Nuora makes a shot. Last season was his playing with the Milwaukee Bucks. The team was definitely doing great this season. And they're still on the target with top the player of George Hill and Jordan Nuora. They're definitely not able to try to look from here. They want to keep their eyes out of here. Well, it's very tough to try to keep them over the range out there. It may not be enough to try to, like, keep them right into the target site. Not really sure enough they can try to, like, keep them out of the range. But to talk about that one here, they don't have a choice. New Aura. Good speed off here and hits the glass forward in the bucket. That's another bucket here for Jordan New Aura. 5 oh, 05 to go here in the fourth quarter. On an OB. Trent Jr. Top to quarter. He bounced past to Adam OB. Made the spin move. Porto. Young. We're going for two. That goes in and out. A lot of heavy misses on for the Raptors to try to stay in focus. He goes to heel for the two. Oh, never missed by Indiana. Their target's not really appealing well. They have to try to keep in focus. Porto over to Ananobi. Finds over Trent Jr. Just four in the shot clock. Trent Jr. up. Scoop the drive. That's first bucket for Trent Jr. There are definitely better plays than that one. And other players just get on it's coming down. An excellent mobile one drive by Toronto. Dante Aranobi. Three for heel. A lot of three-pointers, but not this time! New Aura put it back in there! Put it put back out there, just for one. I like that one. Little Hustle can try to, like, go with the flow. May not be the only one you can try to go from here. Trent Jr. back over to Ironobi. Five seconds to shoot. Trent Jr. for four. Rejected by Halliburton. And they finally get a block. Nice play for Halliburton. And that was your star to go with the rejection. Well, he got denied out there. That was the easy call on that one. Really like the hustle that we did. And that was only the play that he has done before. Now Flint is checked back in for four. On the other hand, for right now, Halliburton is checked out. But, no, still in. With a two. A two, I missed the shot.
Dante in the middle. We can't make the two pointer. Down to 310 left to go in the fourth quarter. 44 21 is extension lead for Toronto. A good solve to Adam Logan. Back to Trent Jr. Five seconds to shoot. Back over to Adam Obi. With that layup, scores. That oh, is in again. Adam Obi's got 10, and the extension is coming up their run way up the mark. Oliver and on Flynn. Dante, good speed, and it's Halliburton with the assist. They are just going right from heavy to hits on this one. Set up change, very excellent move. He moves over to Adenobi. Move around again, and the ball runs around the rim, and he just has it in there. He has 12 points in this game. An extension was going right big from here. Come again. Field on Anobi. Two minutes to play in the fourth quarter. Dante for two. He's back again. Brissett. Quick check. And it's a true out with the ball rejection. Anobi with the fast break. And he scores with a bigger drive. And an assistant goes up by Achua. I don't know, he's got 14 points. Now here's Halliburton. Heel with it now. Back to Halliburton. Halliburton inside. Heel for three. Got it. They are on the board with the three pointers. And they have it back. Well, as you can talk about that one here, there is something else that they cannot do. They're trying to go from the feet, but they are trying to keep it going. That's heavier keys in the matches. Very hard to try to hit the deck. A true one back on the outside with a check, and he's fouled. Jackson with the first foul, and a number team foul lifted up for Indiana. Oh boy, it looks like Indiana is definitely out of this game. Yeah, we're going to have to say bye bye for now because their team is over. Well, to talk about that one here, there's something else that they cannot be doing here at this instant. That's because the place was just out of reach, no tricky shots really. Achua makes the first throw. Now three players are checked in. As three players are checked out, Trent Jr., Young, and Achua moves over to point forward, Akoloko and Banton are checked in. Pacers are also making new switches here as four players have checked in as he eludes the shooting guard. And he makes a second free throw. Here's Skill. Hasn't scored yet. Here's again with the team. Smith outside. Go from here. And he's fouled. Polico with the, with the first personal and their second team foul on Toronto. And now at the free throw line will be coming up for Jalen Smith. He is never able to make a free throw line and wants to go right for the target. Well, their plays are just very uh, tremendous. To talk about their run, they're very hard. They try to keep him up from here. Indiana Pacers are able to make another free throw line here if they go at the at the line for the target. Under a minute left to play in the fourth quarter. Jalen makes the first free throw. Now back in again will be Boucher covering for Ichua. And he's done right now for the team on the court. You had to say about him, Achua definitely great plays on defense. And second free throw will make it in there again. Time ticking down with only under a minute left to play. Flynn with it. He passed to Boucher. Boucher, bad of bounds. 
That goes back to Indiana Ball. Man, very tough ones to be out there just like they did. Hill finds Snowball. Back to Jackson. Colico with the ball. Defending it. Back to Hill and makes the draw. That is a layup scoop for Hill. And he's so quiet, he just didn't really have enough to make the momentum out there. Back in again. Well, George Hill would have had that one just the right timing to get over it. They're not really just trying to like show him off. Ten seconds left to play to the shot clock. Coloco and picked away. Jackson with a steal. New Orleans with the ball. Moves up. Layup. Back to Smith. And we'll have to hold the ball here. And that turns to be a three second violation on Indiana. That's it. Indiana just lost this game. And the Raptors say bye bye to them. Your final score for tonight a 52 30 run. Raptors just making a great win again. I agree. They definitely did. A lot of plays. Van Vliet, Adanobi, definitely killed it all. Now we close it off to Allie LaForce on the sideline. Allie, it's all yours. Hey there, I'm here with Pascal Siakam. The shots were falling for you tonight. How do you like the flow offensively? Uh, I like to see a little bit more setup that we always do. Move the ball around, get the open shots, and today, we're doing it, so we got to go see the play. It's helpful when it goes in. It takes so much basketball. All right, Ellie. Thank you very much. With Paintbrush, me and Mika, this has been your presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. Thank you so much for joining us and time to send you the post game show with Son of Peace. So long in Indiana. Good night, everyone. Paintbrush, thank you so much. Uh, this game was a tremendous night for Toronto and the Indiana with a troublemaking of the game. There was all that had turned to be I turn questions to consider what was happening here in part of the games. 52 to 30 is your final score as Raptors got a lot of points to take him over. Field goal percentage was 56, three pointers were 44%. Free throws were, were just a perfect free throw range. Fast break points with 6. Points in paint, 26. Then a second chance points with 4. Bench points was 14. And 16 for the assist. They also have the defensive rebounds for 23. And only a couple steals were made in between Toronto and the Pacers. Only one block was rejected by Halliburton. And it was definitely the time of biggest lead of 27. Time possession was 12.34. Well, I'll tell you what. They're definitely a good team. Better than the Indiana Pacers. And you know, it was hard enough without making the players with the franchise player in the team. It was hard, though, to make it uh, harder to them to settle. Including Paul George, too. If you don't understand how Paul George did, well, you have to suit for yourself to the L.A. Lakers, to Clippers, I meant. So that should have been just the right moment. And now we close this off to the three star players of the game. This will be all for Raptors. For number three, we're going to give this thing a good look at the run. And I don't know if you all taking a look at it. Take a look at it from here from this angle, but... Uh, yeah, I don't see anything else to say of what was going on, but that was all it did turn out. Well, let's do it anyway. Pascal Siakam, six points, four rebounds, and five assists. He only had just gotten some 19 performance in the run. Only had two field goals for his part of the game, and it was all that did turn out like he always did before. On to now to number two. The second star for the Raptors... This one goes to Oak Alanobi with 14 points. This was only that gives him up here with the pointers, this one. Then two three-pointers. Wow. The very tough one to try to keep him over the deck. Not really able to answer it, but, you know, 
If it's really that hard, you keep it right from here. And your number one star, birthday game, the New Balance player of the game, Fred Van Vliet. 16 points with two rebounds and assists. Only had made two three-pointers in this game and four for the three-pointer right from here. Well, terrific run out the opportunity range and might be ready for the play-in tournaments to go for the postseason. So with that, that ends for the 14th game of the NBA 2K Sports. I'd like to thank you all for watching for the Eastern Conference matchups of Canada versus USA of the Raptors and Pacers. Stick around later as we got the last game here as we will be heading you back to Minnesota for Target Center as we got the Nets and Timberwolves. Our last commentary of the game for regular season will be at the termination to try to figure it out who has it all. So with that one, it will be OJ. And with that one, if on this next side, it will be Fan. And definitely true thing to say, can't let that happen to get away with you. Anyways, that's it for the game. Thank you for watching and peace out everyone for a while as the NBA 2K Sports style of 2K23. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Flip thumbs up. Any suggestions, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to follow me on my social medias. If you don't, somebody will do it for you. Do what I ask you or you will be sorry. For just like I always say. Thanks for watching and see you all again for the last game. Peace out. I'm out. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.